So, the player base of Axie Infinity has been growing exponentially, especially in the past few months. Now, with this exponential growth and the opportunity to earn lots of money, a lot of people are becoming curious with the game. But as with every good opportunity, there's also a lot of doubt. Some people are saying that this game is a scam. Some people are even calling it a Ponzi scheme or even a pyramid scheme. My goal in this video is not to convince you to invest in Axie Infinity. On the contrary, my advice is not to put your money into anything you don't understand. As with all investments, you need to be able to do your own due diligence, do ample research, and understand what you're getting into. Otherwise, it's no better than gambling. And if you're not willing to understand everything about this game, I suggest to not put in more than what you're willing to lose. Otherwise, you have no one else to blame but yourself. I've already shared my experience investing in Axie Infinity on my previous video. I started playing on May of 2021, and in the two months since, I've already made back my initial $1,000 investment and more. So you can check out that video first to see my journey in starting and investing in Axie Infinity along with a short background about the game. Before I go any further, I just want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. Everything in this video is based on my experience and personal opinions. It is up to you to decide for yourself whether this game is worth investing in or not. And another disclaimer, I am an Axie Infinity content creator. My last few videos have all been about Axie Infinity. However, I will try my best to present all of the evidence as unbiased as possible. Let's start by going through the process on how to make money in Axie Infinity. By playing the game and doing quests, you can earn a minimum of 150 SLP a day. This SLP can be withdrawn from the account every two weeks. SLP is a cryptocurrency that can be sold to players directly or can be moved to a cryptocurrency trading platform like Binance or Uniswap and can be sold to other people through the platform. If you're not familiar with cryptocurrency trading platforms, I would compare it to trading stocks in a stock trading platform. You can set a limit price or sell at market price. And similar to stocks, the price can go up or down depending on the reaction of the market. So why do people need SLP? This SLP is actually used for breeding, and by doing so burns the currency, meaning it is taken out of the market circulation. This burn mechanic is to prevent oversupply of the currency, which helps preserve the value and price of SLP. Now that we've established the demand and supply for SLP, let's take a look at the three kinds of players of Axie Infinity. The first is the Scholar. This is the player who has invested zero money in the game and is basically making money for free. The second is the Average Player, the person who bought their own Axie team and is playing one account. The third is the manager, or a person who has purchased and bred multiple teams and has hired scholars to share profits with them. Now let's address some of the fear, uncertainty, and doubt surrounding Axie Infinity by addressing the risk for each kind of player. For scholars, they invest nothing but time into the game to make money. They have to share what they earned with the managers according to their agreement. So the main risk for being a scholar is the same risk as being an employee at any company. However, because there are no labor laws to protect you, this means that you also run a higher risk of getting exploited. A bad or a scummy manager could decide not to pay you after two weeks of earning SLP for him. He could give you an unfair profit sharing for SLP. He could ask for certain payments or fees when you're applying for a scholarship. He could also ask you for inappropriate favors to keep your scholarship. So basically, it's nothing different from getting a job at a scummy company with a bad employer. For the average player like me, you've invested to buy your own three axes, and you've probably spent anywhere between $800 to $1,200 in the game. You also have to spend time every day grinding and farming SLP. So the main concern or question here is, what if I lose all of what I invested? What if I don't like the game? All the time I spent will have been a waste. And to that I ask you, how much money and time do you spend for games? 
especially for those of you that play those gacha games like Genshin Impact or Summoner's War. Yeah, spending the whole day on your phone or PC and buying a lot of those loot boxes. Once you stop playing those games, what happens to all that you've spent on those? In Axie Infinity, yeah, the price is high, but at least if you ever want to stop playing, you can resell your Axies to the market. The good thing is, a second-hand Axie doesn't make it any less desirable or valuable. You are likely to sell it back at the same price you purchased it at. And based on my experience, a two-month return on investment is crazy good. I don't think any business you decide to create out there will have that kind of ROI. So try the game for two months, make back your investment. If you don't like the game, then resell your axes. If the economy or game ever dies, I'm sure you can be quick enough to sell your three axes before you lose all the value. And also, I don't believe that the game will be dead in two months. It's still in the alpha stage and more players are still joining. For the managers or big investors, of course the risk is high. You're spending thousands and thousands of dollars into the game. Naturally, there are a lot of concerns and factors to take into account as a manager. So let's take the concerns on the game's entirety. Some people are saying that the game is a Ponzi scheme or a pyramid scheme. And let me share their argument for that. So they say that a manager will buy axes and get scholars. This in turn means scholars will eventually buy their own axes and become a manager as well. And this downward trend will result in, well, a pyramid. And once people stop playing the game or once the player base slows down, then the SLP will lose its value and therefore you got scammed. But that's not totally accurate. See, the reason why a pyramid or a Ponzi scheme is a scam is because you are promised high returns on your investment without the money actually being invested or used properly. They focus on recruiting more and more people just to be able to raise funds to pay you the high returns on your investment. And they need to keep getting more people to keep the scheme going. Once you go down in the pyramid, eventually the scheme unravels because the people at the bottom can't take their money out anymore. So let me explain why Axie Infinity is not the same thing. If the only reason to make new Axies was to get new players, then maybe you can make a case for this being a Ponzi scam. However, you are putting your money in digital assets that you can sell at any time. There is a thriving economy and marketplace, which means that each asset has a perceived value and there is a rarity factor to owning an Axie, because they are mostly unique. Unique meaning if you breed an Axie, there is a luck or chance factor attached to it, and it's not certain that you will get the exact Axie that you want. Because this game has aspirations to become a competitively played esport, they always have to do balance changes or introduce new abilities and skills into the game, which means people are going to have to keep making new axes to become competitive. More game modes are also still to come, which means players might need more kinds of axes to participate in these new game modes. What I'm saying here is, even if the player base does start to plateau, the axes you own will still have value attached to it because existing players will always need more new axes. Another compelling case for axes retaining value is the AXS tokens. AXS tokens are another component that you need in order to breed or create new axes. The thing with AXS tokens are that they are in limited circulation. Unlike SLP that can be generated by playing, at the moment AXS cannot be earned by playing the game. The only way to get them currently is through community events or by placing top 300 in the PvP season, which lasts about a month. So due to the limited nature of AXS, Axes will always retain some value due to the limited amount you can breed. I would sort of compare this to the collectible or trading card games such as Magic the Gathering or Pokemon. Each card gets more valuable as time goes on because of the limited printing of certain cards. Another common criticism is that cryptocurrencies are a scam. If you truly believe that cryptocurrencies are a scam, then don't invest a single cent in this game. The game runs on a blockchain system through the Ethereum network. I'm not going to explain the intricacies of cryptocurrency because that will need a video or a seminar by itself. But in some countries like El Salvador, they've already adopted Bitcoin as a legal tender. 
some countries are still skeptical or have outright banned cryptocurrencies. So you should do your own research on whether you are optimistic about cryptocurrencies. Because if not, don't bother investing in a cryptocurrency-based game. Lastly, managers are afraid that they may get their axes stolen by their scholars. Well, no, that's not possible at all, unless you're managing your scholars incorrectly. Managers create the Ronin wallet and have all the information attached to that. The scholars will only get a QR code password to be able to play the game. They can't access any of your assets in any way. They can only get their SLP when you, the manager, would send it to them as payment. To conclude, most people saying that Axie Infinity is a scam are probably either uninformed or uncertain about the game's future. And that's okay because people are usually skeptical about something they don't understand. But I suggest having all the facts before you falsely accuse something of being a scam. The game is still growing and still in the alpha phase, which means so many more features will be released and more players are still to come. So, do I think that the prices of SLP will remain constant or go even higher in the future? Who knows? The devs might make another game mode in the future that will also require and burn more SLP, meaning the demand will still be there. But that's all speculation. We can't accurately predict the market. We can be optimistic or pessimistic on it just like any other stock in the stock market or any other cryptocurrency that's currently trading. Do I think you should quit your job and go full time on Axie Infinity? No! Axie Infinity takes only 2 hours to farm all of your SLP in a day. Why would you quit your job that gives you benefits and a stable income? Just play Axie Infinity on the side. Think of it more as a side hustle than a full time job. Should I invest all my money in this game? Well, that's completely up to you. I have provided you the facts and my opinions about the game. And just like all investments, you should do your own research before placing your money in anything. Don't let a cartoon animal that makes videos on the internet make your financial decisions for you. Should I subscribe to Solthos? Hell yeah! If you watched my video all the way until here, then you're sure to get more quality content from me in the future. And that, you can be certain of. I was sort of inspired to make this video because there was a lot of misinformation going around that Axie Infinity is a Ponzi scheme. I fully believe in the game and its future, but I also believe that everyone should be financially responsible with their money and not invest in what they don't understand. So thanks for watching everybody, and if you want to be part of the Soul Crew, why don't you come and join us on Discord. You can watch my other videos here, and make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video if you think it was informative, and this is your captain Solthos signing out. See you guys in the next video. Bye!